In this video, I'm going to take you through the use of the Motion Matching Locomotion Controller, just how to get started with it, assuming that you've already installed and configured it, which I showed how to do in a previous video. If you haven't seen that video, the link will be in the description so you can watch that first as it is required to do this. So pretty much all use of the Motion Matching Locomotion Controller starts with going to Tools, 3 Peat, and opening the Configuration Wizard. The Configuration Wizard has three major parts. The shortest one being the online help and a button that allows you to add any of the necessary footstep events to any of the animation packs that we support but really it starts with dependency checking just to make sure that all the things that you want to integrate into this character and all the required dependencies for the asset altogether are included once that's all done we can move on to character setup to demonstrate bringing in a model other than mixamo which i show a lot or my included hoodie guy character I uh, paused the video and imported the Bandit Western character from the package manager, which is a model I purchased off of the store. And creating a character really starts with selecting the prefab for that character. So we'll go find the character model. We're in the built-in pipeline, and we're going to grab SK Cowboy 2 and drag that into the character prefab slot. Next up is picking the input scheme. Now this can be changed at in the editor or so in the inspector or at runtime so it doesn't really matter what you pick but for ease of integration if you know what you're going to do whether it's a player either the new input system or the legacy input manager or if it's an mpc or ai non-player character you would be nav mesh driven typically i'm going to pick input system just to make it easy my ground layer since i'm going to bring bring in final ik i'm going to choose my actual ground layers for that and then I choose to integrate Strider. I'm not going to override the character configure the input scheme. This just allows you to set up different classes of character capabilities and uh, locomotion behavior and bring them in much more quickly than having to manually change each of your characters. We are going to set up final IK. There's help, but uh, I know what to do. So I'm just going to select default and grounder only. And then we do want a test camera because we don't yet have a Cinemachine camera controller or anything like that in the scene. And that's it. We just add it to the scene. And now we have our player character. I'll go over to the scene. Now, there's one more thing we just absolutely have to do unless when I hit play, we just want to watch this character following forever. And that's we need an environment in the scene. So let me go ahead and find one and bring it in. So if we go to plugins, 3 Pete MMC locomotion demos, there's a prefabs directory and we could just grab demo environment and bring that in and then sure enough that'll get us what we need so nothing more needed we can just hit play and we have our character now it turns out we have our character and he's, uh, he's quite busy so I'll get rid of the stats and get rid of the gizmos and now sure enough we can look at uh, and we have all the Expected functionality, he should be able to jump. Yep. And uh, let's go make sure that when he walks upstairs, he's actually, yep, he's on the stairs. That's as expected. And let's go get him to roll. Yep, there we go. So everything's working as we expected it. And as usual, you have the, the walking based. So there's your stationary hard landing and you saw the roll, so that's it. 